I spent $184 at GameStop. They had a killer sale this week. So they had 30% off clearance this week, but if you was a pro member, you got an extra 30%, making it 60% off clearance. They also had on some select new games, buy one, get one free. So we'll go ahead and show you guys what all I picked up, spending $184, I believe. Let me double check the receipt here. Big receipt. Okay, so yeah, I spent $183 and 81 cents before tax and everything. So let me show y'all what I got. So starting off, I got Xenoblade Chronicles 2 because I do not have this one in my collection. And um, yeah, uh, you know, new games don't come with manuals. But this game, you don't see it out in the wild very often. I know there's like a gold version. I'm not really sure what that means. And um, yeah, this was not on sale, and I think I even overpaid by like a couple bucks for it. But first time I've seen it in the wild, wild in a long time, so I decided to pick it up. So here's the first sale games. So I got Pokemon Pearl, brand new, sealed, with Hades, brand new, sealed. So Pokemon Pearl was, let me go ahead and look at the receipt here. We got it for $60, $59.99, which made Hades free so i got hades for free i think i already got pokemon pearl if not i'm probably gonna sell this copy i mean if i do i'm gonna sell this copy if not i'll keep it but i know i don't have hades in the collection so definitely gonna keep hades haven't played it yet but i've heard it's a good game let me know what you guys think about hades down below so let's get to what else i spent so like i said that's part of the 184 dollars that's a big section of it so this is right here is um 55 60 so that's a hundred something so the rest is like seventy dollars and over here i got two big bags full so we'll see what all i got here mostly figures just to let you guys know ahead of time so first thing first i got this shang chi figure and he was 897 on clearance and that brought him all the way down to a whopping three dollars and 41 cents so, you can't beat that. $3.41 for a Shang-Chi figure. Yeah, new in the box. No way. <coughs> okay, so up next, we got us a Star Wars figure. I just thought this guy was cool. I'm not even a Star Wars guy, to be honest. I haven't watched much of it. Um, I'm going to probably start watching The Mandalorian here soon. I've been playing a little bit of Knights of the Old Republic on my Switch, and I absolutely adore it. So, how much did this guy cost me? So, 60% off with $8.73. Heck yeah, that's one of the more expensive ones I got. So, so one of my favorites, and this one's definitely a keeper. I got Deceased Supergirl. Let me see if I can adjust this light to where you can see her better. Sometimes this light that I use gets a little too bright. Okay, so yeah, that's about as good as it's going to get. But yeah, Deceased Supergirl. And she was originally $27.97. And we got her for... Oh, okay, just found it. Got her for two for $10.63. So that's definitely a keeper. That's staying in my collection for sure. Um... Some of the other ones I may get rid of here soon. I don't know yet. All right, so let's keep it a going. Keep it a going. Okay, so now we got Batwoman Unmasked. And Batwoman Unmasked was originally $17.97. And I think I can find the price pretty quickly on this one. So I got her for $6.83. That's awesome. That is awesome. Okay, so... Let's keep this ball rolling. So, remember, this is like $70 worth of stuff here that I got. And I'm not even close to finished because $100 and something dollars came from just the games alone. Alright, so now we got Superman John Kent. Which, I like this figure. I don't necessarily know if I will keep him. <sighs> he is cool. What do you guys think of him? Gosh, I hate that glare. I don't know if I can fix that a little bit. There we go. It might be a little better for y'all. 
But um, yeah, just trying to get good optimal lighting. I'm still not mastered this lighting thing, so if you guys have any tips, I'm trying a lot behind the camera. And if the light's behind the camera, maybe you guys can see everything forward better. Uh, maybe I need an above light. <sighs> I wouldn't spend too much money on just lighting. I'm broke right now, but uh, if I get enough support, yeah, I'll keep doing that. Anyway, so 2397, and he ended up be being, which he's up here at the top. I just seen him. Nine dollars and eleven cents. So, pretty dope deal on that one too. And we're still going. So we also got Cyclone Black Adam, which this is a pretty cool figure too. If you guys want to look at it, seventeen ninety seven, which was another sixty percent off. So, with that cost right there, that one was six dollars and eighty three cents. Like. Dang, GameStop. They really trying to give stuff away right now. Heck, if you just got this alone on that deal and you was a pro member and you used your $5 coupon, you would have only had to pay $1.83 for this figure. And you would have got something like that Shang-Chi for free. So, uh, I hate GameStop, and at the same time, I love GameStop. They they really offer good deals. And then I got this Fortnite figure for $11.97. Um, obviously, it was going to be like 4 or 5 bucks after... After a discount, I pick up Fortnite stuff on clearance just to save it up. Um, I kind of have like a little bitty Fortnite collection hidden off in my house. And I'm just never going to look at it for like 10, 15 years. And it's got like Minecraft and all the other relevant stuff in there. <coughs> Alright, so we also got this big Space Jam box here. Space Jam A New Legacy. And what's inside? Let's see here. We got a lapel pin. A vinyl figure, a mini replica basketball, crew socks, and a water bottle. So yeah, you get all this inside. Originally thirty-five ninety-seven, brand new. And I paid. I don't know if you guys can see that. Thirteen dollars and sixty-seven cents for this thing. Pretty good deal. I'm not a big Space Jam fan. Well, I love the old Space Jam. I grew up with it, but. Probably selling this for like 20 bucks, to be honest. Okay, so we still got another bag to dig through and a few more goodies here. So we got an actual Marvel Legends figure here. So we got the um, Master Mordo. <coughs> so yeah, Master Mordo from the Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Which, yeah, this is a pretty cool little figure. Uh, I, w I wasn't really a huge fan of the movie. Like, I thought the movie was okay. I liked the first Doctor Strange much better. Then this one, let me go, let me know if you guys like this one better than the original Doctor Strange. But yeah, I mean, twenty one ninety seven, which would make him eight dollars and thirty five cents for a Marvel Legends figure. So can't beat that. That's pretty cool. There was a a Firestarter one I really wanted, but apparently it wasn't on clearance. But it ended in the ninety seven, which is typically clearance at GameStop. He's going to check that one out. Okay, so here's one that's definitely going to be a keeper for me. I love, love the DC Animated Universe. And we got a DC Animated Superman black suit variant. And, yeah, you can't see his head because of the stupid stickers. And look, let's see, clearance, $16.97. What was it before that? Oh, it went down from $16.97 to $16.97. What was it before sixteen ninety seven? Can we see that? Eighteen ninety nine. And what was it before that? We probably won't be able to make it there. Come on, GameStop. Well, yeah, I can't really see that one. Uh, nineteen ninety nine. I don't know if y'all can see through there. So it was originally nineteen ninety nine. Like I said, I love the DC animated universe, and. I got him for six dollars and forty-five cents. So, one of my favorites, definitely a keeper. Just in case you guys don't believe me, that is that cheap. Let's see here. Yep, multiverse. 
Batman Unmask, $6.83. So yeah, great deals to be had at GameStop. And then, the last thing I got left here was a controller. So it's a Super Mario controller. I don't know if this is uh, made by PDP Gaming. It says it's OLED compatible, like that really means anything. Um, but yeah, this is, that's like a controller on clearance for cheap. I can't tell if it has back paddles or what. It's a different style of controller. Looks like the buttons have something to do different. There's an audio port. And I don't know what this button is. And the sticks seem to be replaceable on this controller along with the face. So that's pretty cool. Anyways though, I mean a Nintendo Switch controller on clearance from $26.97 down to... Ten dollars and twenty-five cents. You can't beat that. So, overall, really excited about these purchases. I mean, my main favorites is going to be this Superman that I got here, and deceased Supergirl. I mean, GameStop, you did me great today. And I just want to say thank you guys for watching. If you really like this type of content, please like the video. Please subscribe for more, and I'll keep making more videos. I mean, I spent $200 in this video alone. In the last video, I spent $444. I mean, just watch me blow money and go broke, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't go broke because I do do a little bit of reselling to try to make money. But these two right here are keepers, and I love them. See you guys.